My name is Stephen Barton. Three years ago, my best friend and I took a cross-country bicycle trip, and we arrived to Colorado. We were staying with a friend, and we, we wanted to take her out to the movies. We both decided that since Batman was premiering that night, we might as well go. About 30 minutes into the movie, um, a gunman burst through the emergency exit, started shooting. I was hit before I realized what was happening with a shotgun blast, and about two dozen pieces of, of metal came into my, my upper torso and my face and my neck. The fear you know, that, that you feel when someone's stalking you with a gun is just indescribable. There was a point when I felt that I was going to die, lying on the floor, bleeding heavily, and listening, just listening to the rap, rap, rap of the rifle. And people screaming, people shouting, there's a bunch of smoke. After maybe a minute of that, the shooting stopped. And it's only because his magazine, which held 100 bullets, it's only because that jammed that I was able to escape. And if that gun had not jammed, I don't think I would be here talking to you today. You know, I, I consider myself to still be on the road to recovery. Physically, I feel okay, but it's something that I think about every day. And that's something that I don't think will ever disappear. This is not something that I thought about before I was shot. And now that I've been so immersed in this world and exposed to it, it's amazing the hundreds, the thousands of people who have been through this and are still so strong and still so vocal. They're really the people who inspire me and who give me strength. What is it gonna take to turn this around? I think it's gonna take people rising up, people organizing, people making their voices heard about this issue in a way that they haven't before. Our politicians are totally content to cash their checks from the gun lobby and do nothing. Only by holding them accountable will anything ever change. Correct me if I'm wrong, do you have some connection to Sandy Hook? I uh, grew up and my parents still live in a town called Southbury, which is right next to Sandy Hook. And that was about six months after Aurora, after I'd been shot. And so it was just a, a span of time when I, I felt that these terrible shootings were just going to follow me.